guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use MySQL with the Craft Bucket or, or Bucket Server. Um, it's a Minecraft server, obviously. Um, the plugin I'm going to be using to example this will be um, Big Brother. Now I have all the links in the, um, in the description. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and download all those now so you can keep up. Alright, first things first. We're going to want to download WAMP server. So let's go ahead and download WAMP server. Um, depending on whichever operating system you have, 64-bit or 32-bit. You can see it downloaded for me. Um, you can let it download on yours, computer, whatever. Alright, um, just a little word of advice. You cannot have Skype and WAMP server running at the same time. Because Skype uses port 80 and WAMP server needs port 80 to be open. So it will not work if you have Skype running. Um, if you intend to have Skype running, you might as well stop watching now. But let's continue. Hit run. Yes. Next. Accept. Install. It's going to take a minute to download, I mean install. Um, when, it, when, you get, when it asks you for this, just hit open. Make sure you don't click on any folders. And if you just hit open, you'll be good. It's fi uh, finishing installation. Now, under here, just leave everything as is. Leave it as default so that we can stay on the same base here. Um, make sure that's checked and hit finish. Yes. Alright, you can see it started up. If it didn't turn green and it stayed orange or red, you can go ahead here um, and just left click on WAMP server and click on Apache service and then test port 80. That's only if it did not go green and stayed orange. If it went green, you're fine. Alright, now we're going to want to, by default, WAMP server opens up offline. Uh, it starts offline, in offline mode. So we're going to left click here and just click put online. You're going to see it's just going to restart everything. Went green. says WAMP server is online now. Alright. Um, before we go any further, let's just make our Minecraft folder. We're going to click on new folder. Minecraft server. Whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter. Um, this is... I, I already downloaded Big Brother. But you're gonna wanna, you know, like I said, download everything now. You're gonna wanna for Big uh, Big Brother. You're gonna wanna download Big Brother v1.7, and then you're gonna wanna download Craft Bucket. The version of Craft Bucket you wanna download will be 5.27. Um, usually, you know, this is just if you intend on keeping your server. Usually, you'll go to um, latest promotion recommended, and as you can see, it's not 5.27. It's 5.31. 527 is a little bit older. It was still a recommended version, though. Um, it says right here in the um, quotations or whatever brackets um, that it was it was tested with build 527. That does not mean that it won't work with anything um, higher than build 27. But there's a good ch if you try to run something that is lower than build 27, there's a good chance it will not work. So we're going to want to download Big Brother v1.7. We're going to want to come here to Developer, Craft Bucket, and we're going to download 527. Like I said, all these links are in the description. I have it downloaded already. You can see there. So I'm going to just minimize my browser. And I'm going to drag Craft Bucket into here. I'm going to rename it craftbucket.jar. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and do this also. 
if you do use the Java code that I put in the description, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Oh, didn't mean to do that. You can see um, it's under craftbucket.jar now, and it's inside my Minecraft server folder. Now I'm going to open up Notepad++. You could, um, you probably don't have this installed. Um, you could just use Notepad. I'll show you here. I'm just gonna open up Notepad instead, so that I don't confuse anyone. And just copy and paste what I put in the description. Right now I'll type it out just to show you. We're gonna want to um you want you're gonna want to save this as and you see you can see it opened up immediately to the Minecraft server that I have on my desktop I guess because I opened it enough times so it's my favorite if if it doesn't though if you save the folder to your desktop you just want to click on desktop here in the sidebar and um go into this folder and you're gonna want to save it as whatever start um you could do it as Minecraft server start any of that. But you have to make sure before you save it that you put .bat at the end. And that will specify that this is a batch file for Windows. We're going to save it. I'm just going to close this. You can see, look, there's my start.bat. Before we do anything else, we're going to want to run craftbucket.jar. You can see here it's failed to load ban list, all that stuff. It, that's because it's going to download it right now everything that it needs to. You can see it downloaded everything and it um, finished successfully. So I'm going to put stop. Saving. Alright, as you can see, it also downloaded the um, or created a plugins directory. I'm going to want to open up that plugins directory and if you haven't extracted the bigbrother.zip folder, you could do that now. I have WinZip, so all I have to do is WinZip extract a folder. Um, if you don't, you're just using Windows, just open up the zip file and drag the, here, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll just open this, and you're going to want to drag both of these things into the plugins folder. You can see there they are. <clears throat> we can close this, and close this. Now you can see, oh, let's try it. Now, um, first, let's configure our MySQL uh, password. Look, I'm going to open up. Uh, if you didn't see that, I left-clicked on WAMP Server 2.2, uh, 2.1. I went to PHP My Admin and clicked on that. Now, I'm going to go to Privileges under Localhost PHP My Admin. And you're going to see there are two root users. We're going to want to edit the privileges. I'm going to click Edit Privileges for um, 127.0.0.1 first. You didn't have to do those, that check thing that I just did, where I checked both of them. It doesn't matter. Um, right here underneath Password, um, whatever you want. I'm going to make mine um, four zeros in this case. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to hit Go. There we go. It says it was changed. We're going to um, re-click on privileges. We're going to go down to the second root user that um, specifies its host as localhost. Edit privileges. Password. Create a new password. Or uh, change password. Make it the same thing that you made the other root folder so that you don't get confused. So in my case, it's going to be four zeros. In your case, whatever you specified for the other root user. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four gonna hit go password for root was successfully changed now when we go to databases it's gonna give us an error saying that we have no password um, specified pretty much that's okay we're just gonna close this up we are going to uh, left click on WAMP server icon in the task tray 
you're going to hit localhost and you're going to get this page under your browser and you're going to go down to your uh, uh, aliases SQL buddy click on it you're going to see it's asking for a login you're going to put your password in whichever you specified um, four zeros in my case click submit it's going to log me in. Now we're going to create a new database. The name of the database has to be Minecraft. M-I-N-E-C-R-A-F-T. Minecraft. Because that's what um, most plugins that use MySQL will do. They will um, look for the database called Minecraft. Uh, leave that as is. Leave the char set as, as is. I'm going to hit submit. Now you can see under here, databases, that we have the Minecraft database created. And that's good. Now I'm going to close here. Again, uh, make sure you have Big Brother. This is under, I dragged that into my plugins folder under my Minecraft server bin file, uh, folder. Now we're going to click on the Big Brother folder. We're going to go to bro bigbrother.yml. It's going to open this up in Notepad++. In your case, it would probably open up in Notepad. Alright. Now, here is all our MySQL information. For username, you're going to want to change this. You're going to want to put root. I don't know why Big Brother has used a default username specified as Minecraft. Um, that's not what most plugins will do. Alright, so you're gonna you're gonna wanna have the username and make sure there's a space in between the um colon and the username. So you can see there's a space. And you, you wanna put root. Your password, you wanna leave the quotes there, and in between the quotes you're gonna put your password. So in my case, it's one, two, three, four, four zeros as password so that I could log in. And you wanna leave the quotes there. You definitely wanna leave the quotes there because it's a dot YML file. And it's it's um, dot YML files are very very space sensitive and tab sensitive. You can't tab at all. So um, yeah, and it says the database it's looking for is Minecraft. That's what we created. Now I'm going to go up here and hit save. Big Brother dot YML. Going to exit out. Start dot. Sorry. I'm going to hit start.bat. You can see here it's um it connected to the MySQL for Big Brother. It created tables. Big Brother. There we go. Um just to show you it worked, we're going to come down here to the WAMP server. I'm going to go to localhost, SQL buddy. It should um, automatically log you in again. We're going to go to the Minecraft database on the side, and you can see there, right there, that it created the um, two Big Brother worlds that it needed, um, Big Brother tables that it needed. Sorry about that. And just to um, show you that there's no errors, we'll start it again. Usually, you, you need to um, specify an IP address if, if you're going to connect to the server. See, look. The, now, all these um, messages that Big Brother is popping up for is um, just because I don't have permissions installed. You um you can go ahead and do that. That's um that's a whole different thing though. And that's that's a lot easier. It's on the same website, bucket.org. Alright, so as you can see, everything was um successful. I hope you enjoyed my video and um hope to see you back again. Thanks everybody.